this video I'll show you how to make some spring themed word search uh, puzzles using software called Word Search Printer which you can download from wordsearchprinter.com software is for Windows, it's compatible with all recent versions of Windows on the PC including Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8 so let's start, let's create a new word search project, I'm going to start from a blank um, project and enter my own words, I'm going to enter some words related to spring so we can enter spring flower maybe April March, uh, Bloom, uh, for example, I could keep entering more words, let's have a look and as you can see, as I'm typing in, the words are appearing on the right hand side in a puzzle, change the size of the puzzle here, and if I can, I can update it to make different uh, puzzles until I'm happy with the layout. I can also um, uh, customize this word list if I make a mistake, I for example can delete a word like spring, uh, add new words and so forth um, and I can sort that list as well into alphabetical order uh, and when I'm happy with it I've got a puzzle uh, I can then either print that um, or I can copy either the solution which you're seeing here in the preview or uh, the puzzle itself, i do the copy you'll see here the puzzle or the solution or the word list um, I can copy it to the clipboard so that I can paste it into a publishing program. So, for example, if I'm producing a magazine or a newspaper or a newsletter or even a book, I can copy that in as a graphic and paste it in. I'll show you what the print looks like. So, you can, uh, if I print directly from this program, um, there's the puzzle, um, th there's the word list, and there's the solution. Um, okay, obviously, if I was doing it in a magazine or a book, that the print, uh, the image would be within the context of the larger page that I've designed in my publishing software. Um, some of the other features that are worth mentioning as well is um, there are features for customizing the shape of the puzzle um, and the colors. Let's do the shape. Uh, for, what happens here is basically you can turn off squares you don't want in order to make a particular shape. So for example I could make a, a round puzzle. Uh, obviously if I had a bit more uh, time and skill I might be able to produce a more interesting shape. But I could make a roundish puzzle there. Um, so, for example, at Christmas you might make a Christmas tree puzzle. At Easter you can make an Easter egg-shaped puzzle. And there's some examples on our website of an aeroplane puzzle with, uh, which is in the shape of an aeroplane. Um, you can also uh, change the colours, as I mentioned. If I go in here, there are options here for changing the puzzle colours and the solution colours. So, for example, the answer text is in red if you look carefully, and the answers are ringed with red text, and the highlight is in yellow. And I could change that, change the background colour, change the border, and so forth. Um, and um, finally, uh, the other thing that you can uh, customize, which is very useful, is you can customize the word directions. Um, normally, the words can be placed in any direction, including diagonals and uh, from uh, bottom to top and right to left, which is, of course, not more, normally the way we read English. Uh, for younger children, those directions might be too hard. So, uh, what I can do is, if I want, I could fix turn off um, some of the harder directions. So, at the moment, now I've only got left to right, uh, top to bottom, and diagonally down. Uh, and if I did that, all the puzzles that it will create will fit that pattern. At the moment, there's probably not enough space to uh, put them all vertically or whatever. If I the diagonals, you'll see there. Yeah. OK. And my work, my shape is now wrong, because I've got some holes marked out here that I would uh, need to fill in if I want to adjust the shape. Um, OK, that's it. Your puzzles can be very large as well, for example, up to um, 40 by 40 minute work in that example but if you want to create a full page puzzle with lots of really long words you can do it and if you obviously have to make the puzzle big enough to accommodate your longest words so that's it the software is called word search printer the website is wordsearchprinter.com so if you go to the website you can download a free trial version of the program try it out see what you think i think you will like the software um, but check it out very much <laughs>